Hey guys, it's Ryan from BeachBikes.com again. So today, we're going to talk about tightening the chain. After you've had your bike for a little while, and sometimes out of the box, the chain is going to stretch and get a little bit loose. Usually what we want in the chain is about an inch of play total up and down. So you want a half inch pushing down and a half inch pulling up. This guy's actually perfect, but we're going to show you how to tighten it or loosen it either way. Now usually in the stores here, we use a, a bicycle stand that we mount this thing onto. Obviously, you probably don't have a bicycle stand at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the seat is raised up enough to keep the back wheel off the floor. Flip it upside down. We're going to work on it this way. These guys here are called your dropouts. And this unit here that attaches to the frame is called your coaster brake. That's what creates tension when you, pe when you pedal backwards to stop the bicycle. Now, the first thing we want to do is loosen this up. There's a little tab that sticks onto the frame. We want to pull that out. And we're going to use a 10 millimeter box wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen this. Now, if you're removing the back wheel, you're going to want to take this all the way off. But if you're just loosening or just you know, creating tension on the tank chain, all you really have to do is loosen it up so it's loose like this. Now we're going to use a 15 millimeter wrench and loosen up the back wheel. These axle bolts, like I said, are 15 millimeter, and oddly enough, they're different from the front. Same size, but different thread. So if you've got both wheels off for some reason, make sure you don't mix them up. So I'm gonna loosen this guy here. Once so I get it loose, the wheel's gonna be floppy in there. What I'm gonna do is take my hand right under the frame here and push back on the wheel and re-tighten this guy. So I'm going to tighten that guy down, make sure it stays even inside the frame. What I mean by that is you have enough space on both sides so that it's even. And I'm going to tighten this other guy down. Now I go back to my chain. It's exactly where I want it. Like I said, about, about a full inch from bottom to top. Go back to here. Using my 10 millimeter box wrench and my Phillips head screwdriver, I'm going to tighten it down. One thing you really want to do is make sure this gets tightened down. If it gets too loose, it'll mess with your braking. All right, we're good and tight there. This little tab, which you'll find on, on most firm strongs, 630s will be a little bit different. They'll have a little plate in here. This little tab, you want to fold back over the nut, and that's it. You're good to go. Your chain is tightened, and you're ready to ride. Thanks, guys.